Do you have a mental picture of what the universe yeah. looks like? Yeah. Basically, of how the, um, the planets are, for how far apart there is, and like how long it takes to get to a lot of these galaxies, and how many light years it takes, and stuff like that. Like, would you say you have a mental model of the universe? Yeah, I definitely sun at the center and all the planets around. I think I have a pretty good idea. I think I have a mental picture of the, how the universe is arranged. Yeah, I think it's sort of like a globe, maybe, <laughs> from what I, I can guess of it. Well, this is the, the sun, which is at the center of the universe. And then um, we have the planets that they're all, they rotate around the sun in like orbits. And uh, I forget, I, I know uh, Mercury's first, I think. The sun is in the center. And planets are orbiting around it. We have our solar system with the sun. By the time students reach high school, they have usually been taught the solar system basics several times. Their ideas about the Earth, Moon, Sun, and planets are robust, but their mental models of our universe beyond the solar system are frequently confused, uncertain, or tentative. And basically, we're moving aimlessly any direction you could assume through space within our own galaxy. Well, let's say this is like the boundary of what we can see. There's probably plenty more out there, plenty more stars. But what we've been able to realize is our part, our galaxy is as big as we can think, as big as we can see. Let's say this is the universe, and these are galaxies. And inside the galaxies, there are planets, stars, nebulas, black holes, and other stuff. Researchers at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics have been studying students' ideas about the universe for 20 years. Most recently, they surveyed thousands of teachers and students nationwide to better understand how students construct their mental models of our universe. Students were asked questions designed to assess their understanding of standards-based astronomy concepts, and teachers were asked to predict their students' performance. Research findings suggest a disconnect between what teachers think their students understand and what the students actually like, know. Ms. Callum was saying how there's sometimes a black hole out in space, out in the universe. That's, that uh, He was saying that sometimes he thinks that eventually everything will get sucked into it because the black hole is like continuous sucking action. As as teachers cover space science topics, students frequently incorporate the new ideas in ways that are surprising, but not uncommon. So technically you could say that it's moving towards the location of the original um, side of the Big Bang. Okay, where, where would that be? That way. Okay. These video interviews with high school students were selected because they illustrate findings from the larger survey. There's stars all over the place. It's, there's not really like, um, a certain area where this stuff could be. There, there's something of everything in every place. While watching the interviews, consider the ways in which these students have assimilated new information into conceptual models that blend both accurate and inaccurate ideas. I believe that there's a universe and there's another universe, and then, like they'll combine them sometime. <laughs> and then afterwards, it's very big, but it's not so dense. How might these ideas become barriers to the students' future learning? I have no idea. Because I don't think Consider I also your own ideas about the structure and workings of our universe. Let's say we had like a, a, a spaceship going at, at the speed of light, going towards just in a perfectly straight line. Eventually, it would just circumnavigate the entire universe and end up at a starting point. Uh, so, what do I think is the end? Uh, what I think is the end is, your, is where you started. <laughs>